All right, so we're going to go into the car driver class. In this video, we're going to show you how to combine this J option pin, right? That keep asking the user four times for each data attributes, right? Of the car color, horsepower, engine size, and make. To one, the option pane dialog. So first, we need to understand the basic of uh, swing. We are going to create a panel. Okay. So a panel. If you look at my notepad here, right? So this is a, like a frame windows. Like if you have the J option pane pop up, it's just pop up like a frame windows. And the white place where you can type in this at a, on the is it is this a component like a text area or text field, which is going to add on the top of that background, which is kind of light gray. That is a panel. Okay, so. What we gonna do? We gonna do the same. We gonna design. Let's make simple. We create a panel. We gonna add. We gonna add few things for now. One is the J label. Whenever we want to do like components, we have J and the name of the components. Java X dot swing. That you have to import them J text field then user can type in label is enter like color text field then user type in the color and we're going to import swing this is a button when user click j button all right so now we're going to start to use them. So I'm going to create on the top here, which name J label. It's just the same principle, right? First, like J panel, panel equals to new J panel, right? Instantiate the object name panel to use, right? Same principle that we always do, right? Always do, like. After I have the panel, I start to instantiate the object like J label. Okay, so I'm gonna name color label equals to new J label. Okay. And you can put the default text in here too, like color, like enter color, right? And J. Now we have label and we have text field equals to J. Uh, this is color txt equals to J text field. This is the constructor, and you can provide arguments to this constructor as uh, like a default text, like would be white if the user not enter anything by default, right? It's gonna be white. Or sometimes you see it just say type color, maybe something like that, right? You just type, it's just like the text that fill in the text field. And J button button equals to J button and you can put a label on the button like uh, submit button something like that all right so we create those three and of course we need not just the color right 
we also need engine size horsepower so what I'm going to do I'm going to yank to line so copy to line where it is y to y right and just going to paste it right here then I can just changing the name right where it say color I'm going to replace it with which I'm going to use the colon slash s where it say color I'm going to replace it with what should I replace with horsepower right Also, where I say color with a cap C, replace it with horse power. Right now, go to the next one, do the same. Where it say color. So, this label is going to be instead of horsepower, this is going to be engine engine size and where is a color we gonna say engine size so where is a color we gonna say Power. This is for text field. Where I say color is going to say horse power. Right? Where I say color is going to say engine size. So we are replacing where I say color to engine size. Oh. First, make sure your cursor is right on the first where you want to change, right there. That line where I say color. Now, color, we go replace with engine size, right? And where I say color. We go plus with engine size. Okay. One more, right? Which is let me do yang to line again and pass it right here. So what's that one? Make so replace where I say color with make same search and replace with make search color and replace with make Alrighty, so we have all the label and text field. So let's organize the code a little bit. Let's put all the text field together and label. So I just move that label together.
and our text fields together, right? So we have color, horsepower, engine size, and make. Now, this is the time to add those components into the panel because this we just create them, instantiate them. So let's start to add them into panel dot add color level. So color level go first. Now we're going to yeah we have to add one by one so I'm going to paste so we have to add four four nine of them so paste four five six seven eight nine and just change the color to Now this one should be first one is correct, right? Color level and then color here should go to color text field, right? And this is gonna be horsepower level so horsepower text field. TXT and engine size level to engine size text field and this is the make yeah make label to make text field and txt stand for text field and lbo stand for label and this is the button at the end all right so now we get them what we are do now we're going to put them into the option pane this time we now use show input dialog we're going to what i'm going to do i'm going to we're not gonna need this, so we're commenting them all out. All right. I'm going to comment all the old option pane out. And comment the constructor out first. We're not using it yet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use J option pane dot show message dialog. parameters so we got use that no panel is passing the panel from here and this is the, the title we can change into like car information as a title of the option pane now let's just test the code first to see if we can see that J panel before we do anything else errors okay 21 errors so let's fix them so dot panel how do you say j panel that's why right import swing always j panel for swing Okay, down to 18. J text field. So I'm missing new keywords when you instantiate a new object. So go back and make sure this has to be new. In front, right? So I happen to forget to have new. New. And new. J text view field and J button too. Already, now I should let's see that 